Hi, this is Mark Tutorials and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another Lightroom Mobile Tutorial and Lightroom Preset Giveaway. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. In this video, I will show you how to edit film tone filter using Lightroom Mobile. Here's the before and after photos using the film tone Lightroom Preset. There's also free DNG and XMP file of the film tone preset on the video description for you to download. So let's start. Here's the film tone DNG file. Let's start in the lights tab. Adjust the exposure to negative 0.62. Adjust the contrast to positive 53. Highlights to negative 100. Shadows to positive 15. Whites to negative 18. and adjust the blacks to positive 62. Here's the adjustments on the tone curve. Let's proceed to the Colors tab. Tint to positive 3. Adjust the Vibrance to positive 28. And Saturation to negative 50. Next is in the color mix. In red, adjust the hue to negative 51 and luminance to negative 20. In orange, adjust the hue to negative 16. Saturation to positive 16 and luminance to positive 8. In yellow, adjust the hue to negative 44. Saturation to positive 28. And luminance to negative 22. In green, adjust the hue to negative 12. Saturation to negative 26 and luminance to negative 78. In aqua, adjust the hue to negative 7. 
saturation to positive 20, and luminance to positive 6. In blue, adjust the saturation to negative 100, adjust the hue to negative 16. and luminance to positive 78. In magenta, saturation to negative 25. Adjust the hue to positive 16 and adjust the luminance to positive 4. In purple, adjust the hue to negative 12. Saturation to negative 23. And luminance to positive 6. In effects tab, Adjust the clarity to positive 6. Here's the adjustments on the split tones. In Details tab, adjust the sharpening to 5. Adjust the noise reduction to 10. And color noise reduction to 8. Here's the film tone DNG file. Let's copy and paste the settings to the photos that we want to edit. It is important to understand that there are no ideal settings for all photos. After all, we take photographs under different lighting conditions, with different equipment, so sometimes adjustment will be necessary, 